William Tecumseh Sherman is regarded by many scholars as the first modern general. He brought many victories for the Union Army in the Western Theater, eventually achieving the rank of Major General during the Civil War, and even General of the Army of the United States post-bellum. He is perhaps most famous, however, for his march to the sea and his devastating total war strategies. William Tecumseh Sherman was born on the 8th of February in 1820 to a wealthy and prominent family in Lancaster, Ohio. Charles Sherman, his father, was an Ohio Supreme Court justice and lawyer, but died suddenly when Sherman was nine, leaving the family in a poor financial situation. Thomas Ewing, a senator and family friend, took Sherman, his mother, and his 11 siblings in. Ewing took favor on him and secured him an appointment at the United States Military Academy at West Point in 1836. Once there, he excelled academically and graduated sixth in his class. However, he had no respect for the demerit system and finished his education with multiple minor offenses on his record. Having graduated, he saw his first action against Native Americans in Florida, as well as numerous assignments throughout the South. Much to his frustration, he was mostly a pencil pusher throughout the Mexican-American War, and following his marriage to Eleanor Ewing, resigned from the Army. After attempting life as a banker in California and a lawyer in Kansas, he settled in as headmaster of a military academy in Louisiana. As secessionist tensions rose, Sherman warned his friends that a war would be long and bloody, with the North eventually winning. After Louisiana seceded, he resigned and moved his family to St. Louis. However, after the battle at Fort Sumter, he decided to re-enlist in the Army. He was quickly promoted to Colonel in the 13th U.S. Infantry and fought in the first battle of Bull Run. The fighting was gruesome and the Union was wildly defeated. He became profoundly cynical about the war, constantly complaining to anyone who would listen about the lack of supplies and men whilst overstressing the power of the enemy. He was one of the biggest killjoys in the Union Army and his superiors, after becoming fed up with his bad attitude, soon put him on leave after declaring him unfit for duty. He was described as insane by the media, and is still widely believed that he suffered from nervous breakdowns. After being re-enlisted, Sherman began running logistical missions for Brigadier General Ulysses S. Grant, thus allowing the capture of Fort Donelson. The very next month, he was assigned to serve at Shiloh with Grant. Despite the tremendous difficulties they faced, the two worked together seamlessly to eventually scatter the Confederate troops. Thus, a beautiful bromance was born. Soon, Vicksburg fell, and Sherman was given command of three armies in the West. He launched into what he called the March to the Sea, a gruesome, 60-mile-wide path of destruction leading from Atlanta to the ocean. His strategy was called Total War. He ordered his men to burn everything, leaving a trail of rubble as far as the eye could see. One famous Southerner was quoted as saying, Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your husband, because they're burning everything out here. Despite his ruthless tactics, Sherman is considered one of the brilliant minds of our country. He was quick-witted, a smart tactician, and he got the job done. But more than that, he strengthened the Union and brought the true hellish nature of war to the doorstep of every man, woman, and child in America. He was truly a god of war.